Hey everyone and welcome back to today's video which is all about how I use Google Calendar for students, organization, and all of that. I'm going to teach you how to be more efficient, organized, and just better with using Google Calendar and a bunch of different tips. I really love Google Calendar. It's like one of my holy trinity apps. So let's get into the video. Okay, so the first step of Google Calendar is create a calendar for like different parts of your life. I currently have calendars for academics, all the courses I take, and then I have one for Emily studying things and all things related to that. And then I have like personal, fitness, self-care, and you guys can have like a bunch of different things. And creating these allows you to separate every part of your life so you can keep it on task. Anyway, so you'll be first transported to here, and this is where my calendars are. So to create a new one, you go into add other calendars, and you want to create a new calendar. And you can also add emojis, which makes it look really cute. I should note that the emoji really adds nothing. Anyway, so once you created that calendar, it'll arrive right here, and you can see there's a bunch of different colors to choose from. But I personally don't like them because they just kind of like yell at you like I like to create my own, and I have a bunch of different hex codes right here i'll show them to you and these are the ones i have for my own calendar so you can just like paste them in here or you can just like go along and like choose something okay so next we're going to be discussing how to do recurring tasks so these are tasks that occur on a routinely basis so for me this is basically like my morning routine lunch and then dinner and then all my classes and like things that happen like on a routinely basis so like for example it could be your clubs or like meetings that happen every week Let's just click here like any block and then let's say your task is like a class put it into the different calendar you have so let's say it's a chemistry class okay so let's say this happens from like 5 to 6 a.m like every week and then you can repeat it like customly annually like all these different types or like every weekday so what i usually like doing is custom and then you click the day it happens so let's say it happens like two days a week and then you want it to end on like a certain date so this is when like the last class is and, and then it'll end after there or you can do it like on after a certain number of occurrences and if it happens like let's say every two weeks you could do that there's lots of things you can change within google calendar you just like play around with it and then it'll basically be there like every week so when i like scheduling my morning routine i just do it like this and then i just do it scheduled every day so next i'm going to be talking about how to be more efficient in google calendar so there are lots of like shortcuts and little tips that can actually improve your efficiency and you can get things done a lot faster if you just press the letter d you're going to get a day view if you press w you're going to get the week view and then if you press m you're going to get the monthly view of course i blurred things out because some things are a little too personal for youtube anyway next another hack if you ever just like oh no i have like a plan to do let me go open up my google calendar let me go find the date just press cal dot new It'll create a new calendar event and you just choose the date, whatever you want, and then choose like your calendar, whichever. So for example, if it's like, you just put it in, it's super quick. Next is Google Keep. Google Keep is like this little thing on the corner of here. If you don't have it, just like bring it out with showing the side panel and then it'll have this little bloop. Create a note and like, let's say this is your to-do list. You can actually plan your entire life inside Google Calendar, except I can't get away from the physical sensation of checking off a task and like writing it down by hand. So what I like to do is have my schedule of what I'm gonna do by time and then I'll write down the individual tasks. But basically what you can do is Tuesday to-do list. To get these like checklists, you're gonna need to like first open it and keep checkboxes and then for you, you'll show checkboxes and you can also like choose the colors if you want. Do this like in advance before. Add your list items, so for example, like, and then all of that and if you're done and then you can make another note for like Wednesday. Well, you could also put just like regular to-do lists, for example, just like general ones really plan out your entire life and then once you're done like you could just like check everything off i'm going to talk about like little hacks to improve your life and make google calendar just a lot easier to your personal needs for example the first one is adding a different time zone many people don't know this but like you have one time zone here but instead let's say you're in a school in like another country or you have a foreign lover or you know a long distant relationship i don't know anything about that but anyway you're gonna go display secondary time zone this is in general language and region 
and like time zone below right here and you can like add another one so for example like Tahiti time and then you can also schedule things in like Tahiti time you can use the time zone Okay, so the next one is scheduling recurring tasks for like different areas of your life. What I like to do is schedule birthdays in there. I am terrible at reminding birthdays and the only way I'll remember is Facebook, but I don't go on Facebook that often. So if you want to remember your friend's birthday, just write, it's not my birthday, but we're using me as an example. And then I have like a birthdays calendar, so I don't forget it. And then I usually just like putting it all day so you can get that little tab at the top to be reminded of it and then and you want to repeat annually if you want to stay friends with them or if you if you only want to stay friends with them for 13 years you know you can do that too whatever works I also like doing this as you can see for subscriptions whenever I'm on a free trial of something I always put it here so I don't forget to cancel it and then what I like to do is actually in Google Calendar there is a search function so you can just search up birthdays play all the birthdays okay so the next tip is the notification time usually I like having notifications otherwise I might forget certain things but usually it's like 30 minutes before and that's like way too early for me so therefore I really like changing the notification time just go into here and then go into settings and sharing scroll down until you find here notification or it can send you an email but I get too many emails so we're not gonna do that and then put 10 minutes before if it's like a zoom meeting or like a different type of meeting I don't know what meeting should go to anyway okay so another hack that I really love I've this is like one of my favorite is putting the zoom link inside the Google Calendar so usually when I have a class I, I just go straight to my Google Calendar and then click on the link and to do this you go here and then you go into location and put the zoom link you click on it and it'll transport you there and you'll automatically log in it's just super quick and easy and like for obvious reasons I removed all of my zoom links from this another cool thing I like to do t with school is having background events so for example if you're in class and you have like professor hours you can create a calendar for that so so we create a new calendar and we're gonna call this like office hours or like I don't know what you do in your free time but you know something that's just like in the background or like maybe your boss has like office hours to go to I'm not exactly sure and let's say it's like every week from like this time and then we're gonna put it in this office hours thing and the color is kind of nasty you can change that and then you can save that but like you don't want that on your calendar every day if you're not gonna get help all the time so you can always click it off and then let's say you're like oh no I need help in chemistry again just go here and you can put this for like all your classes okay so now we're actually gonna talk about how to stay on task so you can create different tasks for you to do but it's useless if you're not gonna stick with it so I'm gonna be giving you a bunch of tips within Google Calendar and just like time management tips that actually help me do all the tasks that I schedule so the theme of this little section is like you schedule everything you have like your whole week planned but you don't actually do any of it and it just goes to waste you just feel good about all the colors and all that stuff no we that's it that's not the point of booking all this you're not watching this video just to make pretty colors and do nothing so you actually have to do all your tasks for this to be effective so first thing I like is adding a little leeway between tasks for example like here or between here you know things never go according to plan and you know Parkinson's law which is work expands to fill the time basically meaning if you give yourself four hours to do a task you probably are gonna take four hours but if you give yourself something two hours you're gonna like do it in like two hours and now of course this has limitations like if if you have like an essay and you put two hours like if it takes like 10 hours you're not going to get it done that quickly but like within reason you know for example here post video and then I'll give myself some time to get to my physiotherapy appointment next is tasks within tasks this is like a fun one basically we'll do digital planner so for example first thing I'll work on is and then it click that and that's the first thing I gotta do and then the second thing I'm gonna do in the next hour is is make listings and then we'll click there and that'll take like this much time so it's like you're gonna have your entire block but then within the block you have little tasks you need to do that is just like planning a game 
Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed that video and learned something useful and hopefully you guys can create a more organized Google Calendar. Anyway, that's the end of the video and thank you guys so much for watching. See you later. Bye-bye.